There's no question that the 90s are officially back. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Monica Geller looks we would totally rock today. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable and timeless outfits that Monica wore throughout the show's run. Number 10, Pink Bodycon Dress. Hey guys. You look beautiful. Aww, thank you. Everyone, except Monica of course, knows that Chandler's going to pop the question, but she still totally nails it with the outfit for the occasion. She wears a sexy pink dress for their dinner date, which has a body conscious design that shows off all her curves. What's going on? <laughs> We're just really ex excited about this charity event that we have to go to. <laughs> we don't often get to see the friends all dressed up since they're typically just hanging around the apartment. But when Monica gets all dolled up, it's a huge transformation. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm good. Are you good? Are you good? Is everything, are you, per are you per perfect? This dress is simple and timeless, meaning it would absolutely work even 20 years after the episode aired. It's good to see you. You too. You let uh, your hair grow long. Yeah, oh, well, that's right. You, you always wanted me to. <laughs> Number nine, cozy red sweater. Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance! <laughs> that is correct. In one of the most iconic and memorable episodes of Friends, the one with the embryos, aka the one with the game, Monica wears a cute and casual ensemble that wouldn't look out of place in the modern day. I knew that! Rachel! Use your head! While she's competing for her apartment, she has on a comfy looking red cable knit sweater and navy pants. Two hundred dollars! <laughs> You're doing it again? Excuse me. She has her short hair pulled back with a simple barrette. And if you've been on Instagram lately, you'll know that this is one of the most on trend accessories of the moment. No! Yes! <laughs> Number eight, her wedding dress. Oh my god, Monica. I know. <laughs> Monica may not have been able to wear her first choice wedding dress after another wily bride essentially stole it from her, but we have to say her plan B was not all that bad. In fact, the gown that she actually wears to say her I do's is absolutely stunning and suits her personality perfectly. You look beautiful. Is this new? <laughs> not now. Okay. Wedding dress trends have changed a lot in the approximately two decades since Chandler and Monica tied the knot, but this simple satin dress with a classic silhouette would look incredible on brides today as well. Once again, I pronounce you husband and wife. Now kiss her again. <laughs> Number seven, jean jacket over black dress. If that falls off the truck, it wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> In the final episode of Friends, we were too busy wiping away our tears to notice what anyone was wearing. But in retrospect, Monica looked pretty amazing for a woman who just left the hospital after finding out she's going to be the mother to twins. Look around, you guys. This was your first home. And it was a happy place, filled with love and laughter. She wears a black midi length dress, which is all the rage right now, with a pair of tall leather boots and a denim jacket. Wait a minute, what about that summer during college that you live with grandma and you tried to make it as a dancer? It's a versatile look that could be casual or dressier, and it's exactly the type of outfit we could see someone wearing today. Number six, black t-shirt dress. Hello? This episode focuses mainly on the drama unfolding between Ross and Rachel, but we couldn't help but notice that Monica is looking pretty great while Rachel is moping around the apartment. She wears a tight black t-shirt dress with a scoop neckline over a pair of semi-opaque black tights. It's a simple look, sure, but it's one that doesn't look even a little bit dated. Music! In fact, it would be easy to throw on this exact outfit and head out for drinks with friends. Even before the 90s came back in style, this would have been a great look. Number five, denim on denim. You're not gonna die an old maid. Maybe an old spinster cook. Denim is officially back in a big way, and even denim on denim looks, frequently referred to as the Canadian tuxedo, are actually chic again. Hey, now besides, worst comes to worst, I'll be your boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, right. It's not exactly an easy look to pull off because you have to decide if you're going to coordinate two shades or go all one color, but Monica completely nails it in this episode where she pairs a slightly lighter button-up top with more mid-tone blue jeans. So what do 
What's Phoebe like? I'm kind, caring, and sweet. What's Monica like? Her white, slightly beat-up sneakers finish off the outfit perfectly, making it an entire ensemble that we'd love to steal. Seriously, where did you get the hat? Number four, floral button-down dress. Hey, doesn't Ross's flight get in in a couple of hours? At gate 27B? It's kind of crazy how much these vintage 90s outfits look like something you could buy today at your local Forever 21 or Urban Outfitters. Monica's style is typically pretty streamlined and doesn't usually veer into the hyper-feminine. But in one episode, she wears this adorable and girly floral print button-down dress with a collared neckline. Behind my brother's back? <laughs> is exactly the kind of crazy thing you won't be hearing from me. She pairs the piece with white sneakers to tone it down a bit, another move that would totally work today. It's not the only time she kills it with florals, though, because this floral circle skirt paired with a knit top is enviable, too. Okay, we've got the coleslaw, we got the bun, we've got the ground-up flesh of formerly cute cows and turkeys. <laughs> Number three, her red dress. Well, I love it. Oh, I only hope my wedding looks this good. She may still be reeling from someone thinking that she was Ross's mother at the rehearsal dinner, but Monica still turns out in her bridesmaid dress at Ross and Emily's wedding. The slinky red dress works perfectly with her coloring, and it's a bright hue that we've seen her nail several times throughout the series. In terms of wearability, these sort of dresses are totally back in style, with simple silhouettes dominating on the runway and in stores. Let's just say we've seen some bridesmaid dresses that are a whole lot worse than this one. I hate you! And I love you! Number two, straight leg jeans. Great! It's gym class all over again. Aww. <laughs> If there's one thing that we'd call Monica's most iconic wardrobe staple, it has to be her straight leg jeans. She wears them a ton. In the one after the Super Bowl, she pairs them with an argyle print sweater and black leather boots. I feel that this is totally unjustified. She gave me the green light. I did nothing with... <laughs> Do you think I can't see you in the TV set? In the one with the flashback, she manages to make them look pretty darn sexy by wearing them alongside a red button-up tank. Hey. <laughs> And in the one with the fake Monica, she even wears them with heels to a tap dancing class. It's safe to say that straight leg is surpassing skinny jeans in terms of popularity, so we can all take some inspiration from Monica here. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh my god, how cute is the on-call doctor? Hey Rach, yeah. you know what we hadn't played in a while? What? Hide the lamp? <laughs> Ross? Yeah? Looks like he's playing baseball. You mean hardball? <laughs> We're gonna go. It's not for another six hours. We're gonna go then. <laughs> Look, honey, you don't have to do this, okay? It's the strength you have inside that means the most to me. Number one, black and white striped pants. Hey. Where's Joey? In one of the very first episodes of Friends, Monica wears an outfit that is so current it could easily have appeared on a TV show airing today. First, she has a cropped black t-shirt on with white detailing at the sleeves and collar, and she pairs it with an incredible pair of striped pants with a loose fit. It, it's about Alan. There's something that you should know. The black and white contrasting in the shirt is mirrored in the pants, making the outfit coordinate in a way that is just shy of matching. Yeah, well, who wants fair? I mean, I, I just want things back, you know, the way they were. Aren't we lucky that we can look back on our favorite 90s show for on-trend fashion inspiration? Did he mention us? <laughs> says he's really going to miss you guys. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.